Hi, it's Laura at Aquamarine 18. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Welcome or welcome back. In this video, I will be unboxing and sharing my first impressions of a deck that I received just a couple of days ago. I have resisted opening it until I had a chance to share it. That is the Stars of Umber Tarot, which I appreciate is very shiny there uh, since it's still in the uh, shrink wrap by FF Songrana. And this is a deck that I backed on Kickstarter. And it is a deck that has a science fictional theme, uh, which if you know uh, my book discussions that I include in my monthly recap videos, you know that I love science fiction and I love fantasy. And the creator of this deck loves science fiction and fantasy too. So I was immediately drawn to this deck uh, for that theme. It is also a melanated deck that features all folks of color and in her campaign, uh, the creator speaks about the importance of representation in these genres and the ways that they have not always been and are not always the most inclusive. And when I, when I read this campaign and I saw these cards, I was really, really excited and really happy to back it. And so I'm really excited to see it in person. I will also just mention before getting into the cards themselves, which I'm going to right now because I've been waiting for days, I will say that um, this campaign was the campaign of all of the ones that I've backed, um, which is quite a few at this point, uh, that had the quickest turnaround um, and was kind of the least eventful. And you know if you back decks on Kickstarter, you, you want the campaign to be uneventful, right? Uh, all of the artwork was finished in advance of the campaign. She produced on Make Playing Cards, which is where I'm producing my own deck as well. and. So everything was, you know, everything was done. It was very, very quick from the campaign closing to having a survey, providing an address, and getting a tracking number. And so even for me living in Canada and always waiting for the international shipping, it was very, very quick. Clear communication throughout, you know, really, really good campaign. Um, and I hope to um, support um, her work in future campaigns. I know there was something on her campaign mentioning, you know, it was probably not the last uh, project that she will launch in this way. So I'm excited to see future projects as well. So it is glossy cardstock, which you know is not my favorite, but that's fine. I'm, I'm really excited. The box is a magnetic. I feel like I didn't know that Make Playing Cards did these boxes, but this is, this is good. This is nice. Feels good. So it has a ribbon. Okay. There is no guidebook, which is fine. And it just comes in a little, little plastic. Excited. I really like. Um, I'm fanning them out and taking a peek. <laughs> I really, really like the um, color palette in this deck as well. This is kind of, this is the color palette of my kind of dream wardrobe. It's jewel tones and, and black, which I love. So very, very excited. And you know what? I don't know if I've ever had make playing cards, glossy cardstock. I was a little bit nervous because gloss is not my favorite. This is good. This is good. It's sturdy. Okay, so the back has the box design on it. So can't read reversals with this in a not given away way, but it's a great image, right? Okay, I'm really excited. I'm already excited. Okay. I love it already. Kind of cool. My ring light is going to be a problem, I can already tell. Come on. Okay, with the shine, what if I turn this off? I'm a little bit in the dark. That might be okay. Look at how beautiful this artwork is. 
That's a great fool image. A little bit of trepidation. Sense of the unknown. I love it. I love it. I love it. The magician. My camera is not going to do a good job. I like that this magician, it feels like, is almost scrying in this kind of cauldron. And also I feel like is perhaps gender ambiguous in ways that I appreciate as well. So excited I'm so excited I want to see if I can make this light work the high priestess is cool too I'm so excited look at this eye as somebody who doesn't like too many eyes I like this one Their eyes are covered, but there's an eye on the pendant and an eye below. Amazing. Amazing. I'll show these two together if I can. Look at this Empress and Emperor together. How amazing are these? I am thrilled. I love them. It feels like, you know what? I'm so fucking excited. If it, it feels like all of these are part of a world, which I think in, in a genre like science fiction, that is so much world building and imagining universes and coming up with, you know, socio-political dynamics and climates and religions and languages and all of the things that you know in in a science fictional context can be can be anything right that visionary aspect like the the different figures in this deck feel like they go together and they feel like they are of a world in a way that i think is amazing i've seen five cards so far and i am very happy also the gold <laughs> the gold rings at the top remind me a little tiny bit of um stargate <laughs> which which i'm not mad at i i like that i'm i'm into it oh my god they're amazing Look at this hierophant. I very rarely like the hierophant card, but I like this one. This is like wise sage on a planet that I think would be interesting to learn about. This is amazing. This is amazing. I am so excited. Oh my god. Friends. 
I've been waiting for a sci-fi deck. <laughs> the lovers is, is kind of mermaidy. Mermaids in space. I can be into that. I know that my camera is doing a terrible job. So don't tell me in the comments that it's doing a terrible job because I know. Look at how beautiful. Love it. The chariot is a centaur on another planet. How cool is that? I like the arrow um, imagery for the chariot. It feels very, um, it feels very chariot. Directional, focused, fast. Justice is, I think, a cyborg. Maybe. Going by the, the neck there. I think that she could be a cyborg. And I think that that's really cool because I feel like when you think about science fiction that poses really interesting kind of ethical questions, justice-related questions, science fiction about about cyborgs or about artificial intelligences is the science fiction that does that in a really interesting way side note if you haven't watched humans television show humans you should go and do that because amazing amazing and i like how I like how not Smith Wade it is, but there's just with a sword, like there's there's little nods. Definitely not a beginner deck, but very, very, very thoughtful. I really like this. I really like this. The hermit is really witchy. They could be like alone on a planet. Like a wise one alone on a planet that you could go and consult about something. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Wheel of Fortune as a steering wheel. These are so cool. These are really cool. I really like this. Again, I know, like, my camera is making it look like it's really blurry, but it's not. Oh. Justice and strength are both both numbered 8. <laughs> There's no 11. Cuz 8 9 10 8 12. 
That's okay. That will not bother me in the slightest. But one is, is labeled with the text strength and one with justice, so it's very clear which one is which. I like this hanged man, um, if you can see there. They're becoming submerged underwater, but they're in control of their um, their position. I'm thinking about the hanged man as a kind of, um, you know, there's aspects, there's aspects of like punishment that have to do with the hanged man, but um, also a kind of take like pa taking a pause to look at things in a different way and i feel like you can get all of that from this in ways that are interesting to me i like that death death was waiting for an escape that never came i think did not get rescued. Maybe they crashed. And so they turned their ship into this structure. See, this is why I love this. Maybe they made their ship into this structure while they were waiting. And nobody came. I like how there's palm trees as well. That's cool. Temperance has a crocodile. This is interesting because this one you don't get the degree of science fiction that you do from some of the others, but it feels cohesive. Very cohesive. Oh my goodness, we're at 17 minutes and we're not through the majors. We're going to be here a while, friends. <laughs> as I gush over this deck. Oh, that's cool. Look at this devil card. There's a lot of really interesting choices in this deck. very unconventional but also not in a way that makes me feel like it needs a guidebook which it doesn't have not at all totally clear and readable while being unique and interesting which i think is a hard thing to um to hit that that's cool There's a kind of tower behind the figure. But they're like burning from the inside out in a way. Star. I like that the star has a kind of shoulder bag <laughs> with a ringed planet on it. I feel like I will want to make up backstories for all of these that go with the themes of the cards. and the prospect of doing that makes me very happy
I like this sun. No naked baby on a horse. So cool. So cool. Judgment. It's blindfolded. Kind of sitting in a similar um, as the death card a little bit. It's interesting. Oh, okay. It's interesting that ju judgment also looks like they're kind of um, trapped. Like their arms look. If you can see that, if my camera will call. Yeah, there you go. See how they look like they're kind of clamped to the seat, which is an interesting. Yeah, very cool. And the world has a world tree. Oh, camera, you're terrible. There we go. I'm so happy. Okay. Now the pictures of the cards, some of the pictures of the cards in the campaign were quite small. So I do feel in some ways like I'm seeing these for the first time, even though every card was actually depicted on the campaign. I'm going to try to not talk this long about every single pip. <laughs> okay. It's swords first, then pentacles, then wands, then cups are last. And it's pippish, which I like. Ace of swords. It's an icy kind of sword color. Two. Going into different directions in a way that causes a little bit of a clash, but not necessarily a clash. That's a good a two of swords a three of swords that is um, piercing but not with a heart I like this I really like that oh it's cool I'm so happy I'm so happy the four of swords feels like the northern lights to me which you know, if you haven't seen, Northern Lights are amazing. So cool. The Five of Swords is a bit um, still. For me you don't get the sense of um, like something conflictual from this they're all just kind of still it's beautiful and there are five of them so that's what that's what I need in a in a pippish minor six got one going its own way in the background there. Seven. I like that moon. They look a little bit like tombstones. I'm not sure if they're intended to be tombstones, but that's what they look like to me. The Eight of Swords, definitely the kind of sense of um, trappedness, but also growing beyond finding a way out of the Eight of Swords. 
Alright, cool. The Nine of Swords has a kind of... Not a trumpet, but like something like a trumpet. A horn? Something like that. The mi the miners are interesting because they're like they're not um, like a couple of them feel kind of a little bit Smith weight inspired, but some of them don't at all, um, which doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, I like pip decks that are that are not um, scenic in that way. So I think that these are really cool. And I like how all the, you know, the swords are different as well. The page. It's kind of one very decorative sword on it. And then we have people on these ones. Knight. I think of the Knight of Swords as very, um, fast moving card in most cases so it's interesting um, that this one is quite still in a sense but definitely with like a kind of like battle helmet on like ready to go which feels very knight of swords to me okay for a quick second i thought there was a card missing they're just not in the order that i expected um so the king I really like, I really like the people in this deck, King of Swords. And the Queen of Swords that I was afraid for a second was missing, but was not missing. I like these levitating crowns a lot. Yeah, they're really cool. Okay, pentacles next. I need to slow down. <laughs> Let me slow down. I need to speed up, actually. <laughs> I'm going to take an hour here. Okay, the ace of pentacles has one pentacle on it and is cool. Ace of pentacles. This feels almost a little bit of a nod to something like a Marseille with the kind of floral between the two coins, which is cool. I'm saying cool a lot. This deck is really cool. It's really cool. The three of pentacles has a sense of growth to it. I love the colors. Very cool. This one's neat. I don't even know like what the I it's it's definitely kind of computer painted, but maybe painted and then scanned and then painted, I'm not sure. This four of pentacles feels cool to me. Can you tell I think the deck is cool? I like this kind of stack effect. It's interesting. This is interesting because sometimes, you know, the Five of Pentacles is depicted in a way that's suggestive of kind of lack in some way. And this is like, there's something under the ground that's planted and there's an opening for something to emerge, but there's nothing there coming out, which is interesting um, depiction. So 
color. Wait. No. I'm covering one with my finger. There are nine. <laughs> Definitely get a sense of the kind of solitariness of the nine of pentacles from this. Nine of ten, very abundant. Page. So this one, they, they don't have a people in all of them. Page. Knight. I wish there were people in all of the in all of the courts. Because I like the people so much. And they all go page, knight, king, queen, which I, I like that too. Oh, this queen's amazing. Look at this queen of pentacles. I want, I do want a face on every card because they're so good. Ace of Wands. That's interesting because the two of wands in the you know in the Smith they can have that sense of, of visioning and here you have the wands crossing and then you know where they meet the sky is a different color and something different is going on like it, that's that's cool very cool take page and I kind of like you know what I like how they're borderless on the side and then have this. Um, kind of, I don't know if you can see that. It's just a little very subtle. There it is. On the top, and then the title on the bottom. So mostly borderless. Four of Wands. Feels celebratory. Sure what's going on here the bee is flying towards fire of some kind six of wands The Seven of Wands reminds me of going treetop trekking, like the precarious stick bridge. Nine. Very fiery, very good for wands. This page of wands has kind of a little creature on it. Good night. 
feels very um, phoenix to me good for a knight of wands every time the king is first i'm afraid that a card is missing <laughs> the king of wands i kind of owl and the queen of wands i like this one very fiery my camera will not there we go very cool ace of cups two i really like these miners that are just really pips um with very little else i think that they're really well done Two four of cups. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but across the bottom of the four cups there, there's a kind of bar or something that is holding them in place. Which, thinking about the kind of stagnancy if that's a word stagnation stagnancy is probably not a word of the four of cups that is interesting five six of cups they're quite floral in this one I love these colors. I want a wardrobe that is that is these colors. Eight. This one you get the sense of that kind of the journey of the Eight of Cups for sure. Nine. And ten. Very much kind of culmination looking in this one, which is fitting. There are no missing cards. <laughs> Page. It's a mouth. That's a cool Knight of Cups. I like that. I like that a lot. It's like fighting with tentacles in there. That I I really like that. King. Very watery. And I love the queen. And I always wanted to have this kind of blue hair when I was younger, and my hair just doesn't do that, but. Oh, come on. Yay. I am very excited about this fantastical and science fictional deck. I'm very excited. So that ends my walkthrough. I am going to really enjoy getting to know this deck and dreaming up some fantastical stories to go with it. I think that this is fantastic. So thank you so much for watching, particularly if you stuck with me to the end, this very long uh, ramble. This is the Stars of Umber by FF Songana. Um, I will link below the Kickstarter campaign where I got it. I'm not sure if this is going to be available um, 
post campaign um, or what that will look like, but hopefully the creator will post um, to the Kickstarter to let us all know. So thanks again for watching. And if you backed this deck, let me know and let me know how you're getting along with it. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm happy that it happened. Thank you for watching. Have a great night and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.